Hello, and welcome. Oh, you gave me a spook, but you're my friend, aren't you? Oh, God. It's going to be a little bit hard to um, go back to the old ways. I, I just did my Moonstare Alpha recording, and uh, that's for you, that's going to be a, like a week or so ago, but, uh, you know. No, no worries there. Anyway, I love the new interface, and I'm looking forward to that being a normal part, uh, a normal part of um, cud life. Cud life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Three spring-loaded items. Where is this? Near Bethesda Sousa. Let's go hand in a battle quest. We're going to do some tinkering as well. I feel a sneeze coming on. Well, I'll keep you posted on that one. I'll keep you updated. But uh, it, it, it do be coming uh, at some point. Who knows? I have I get like sneezing fits. Does anyone else get that? I'm not allergic to anything. What are you? What? What? Why are you? Why are you here? All right. Blue Gel decided to break free from the shackles of Bethesda Sousa and uh, explore the real world. We do have a love tonic. I've been like threatening um to hand like make friends with our third troll for like the last i don't know like week of uploads so why don't we actually do this um actually why don't we tell our friend here to uh stay here because i don't want to have to deal with them maybe almost killing the troll because they will likely okay there there is the troll over there what, what are they, what's happening here? What, what are they fighting exactly? Okay, is that them? Yo, did they fix this? So that it's no longer... Oh wait, I think you have to like do fire? Yeah, okay, it's fire. Um, the, the way, if you didn't know how to, how to see the, the troll is if you have a general sense of where they are, then um, kind of hover your X over them. There they are. You'll see the X disappear because they're still technically a tile and the X disappears if it's hovering over a tile. So now we're gonna go down and I just wanna make sure they're still there. Yes, they are. And we're gonna go ahead and equip this love injector. Um, equip in our primary. You know, it might be that I can just talk to them. Let's try it. No. Can I, can I not just talk to you? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, then we're going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, I just moved left, which means that we, yeah, we swapped places. So that means we are actually friends. So, if we're not enemies, then it could be that I just have to wait for them to to appear. And then we can share a dram with them normally. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why they're like bleeding a little bit. They do, they, they're not always invisible. They do kind of appear eventually. Luminous troll foul detaches from bloody luminous hagaba. So I'm not sure. I don't know why um, trolls seem to multiply like this. So they are over there. That's that's them right there. Um, I'm not really sure what to do here because like they're invisible and we're friend. We're on good terms ish, so we we don't seem to be able to. Um, you know, I can't, I can't really interact with them. I've never had to do this. I've never had to try and make friends with the uh, invisible troll. You'd think that I could just like interact with them, but I can't. I, like I'm, I'm trying to, it'd almost be easier to like um, attack them and then, hit, you know, hit them with the love injector. But I really don't know. I don't, is invisibility a mutation? I'm just kind of waiting. They should appear eventually. I, I, I don't think they're constantly invisible. I 
I don't really want to, like, risk attacking them now, because, like, they have enough troll fowls that it would actually be kind of a problem. Well, at least we know where they're, they are. Hmm. Okay, well... If we're, like, on semi-good terms, it means I could possibly talk to the other uh, trolls. We, we might be on... Uh, we might have a few secrets that we could trade. Uh, there, the other trolls are here, right? Yeah, okay. This person is still, um, lovesick. Chat. Sure, Dram. We still, we don't have any secrets, and we don't have enough reputation with trolls to get a secret. Um... Fjorn Kosef, who knits the icy lattice, can award an additional 100 reputation. That's if we have any secrets that they want. Which they don't. We don't seem to have. Um, so, I don't know. Uh, we don't really have enough reputation to, it seems, to talk to the other trolls. So it might be we do actually want to um, attack them. And then hit them with the, tr the, the love tonic. We could, we could do something like this. I, I, I don't like this whole business. Let's remove this and then re-equip our flawless crystal mace. Um, I'm gonna... Like, I don't really want to attack blindly because I don't want to hit the main troll and like, I don't know, somehow crit kill them. I'm looking for the troll. Can I be finding the troll? I don't know where they are. They do be invisible. Where are they? This is the finding the invisible troll song. Oh, no, that's not it. Where are they? Oh, I think that's them over there. Ish. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, well, this is dumb. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to um, procrastinate on this and just uh, try and find our Betel quest. We still need fitted with cleats. I don't think I have that mod. Um, let me see. Oh, I'll ch check real quick. I wish I could collapse. Like, I, in the... Sorry, in the tinkering screen, I kind of wish I could collapse this. Fitted with filters, so we don't have this. Like, it would treat um, all of the items as if they were basically folders. And then we could, you know, collapse them and... Uh, uh, so we don't see all of the modifications. That'd be kind of nice. Um, so, oh, this is no longer a sparking beetle. So this is one. Yeah, this is a sated beetle. Okay. Uh, there's a sparking beetle. Serene Visage. Well, we have Visage, but I think Serene Visage is actually a mod for specifically face pieces so not not something we can really deal with we are inspired we should um make a recipe uh, i should check my recipes if i finally do i i finally have the burrowing claws recipe yes 25 percent chance love congealed love uh, whenever you gain a new follower you don't thirst for the next 12 hours that's kind of nice whenever you drink fresh water this is 25 percent but whenever you take damage Eight to ten percent chance you heal for fifteen to twenty damage. That's actually really nice. That's a really decent recipe right there. Congealed salve. Um, can use flaming ray. Can use flaming ray and can use burrowing claw. That one that sucks because I have to use congealed blaze. I'd almost like to um, try again for a better skulk, better burrowing claws recipe. But, uh, yeah, all right, so let's choose ingredients. We'll do a skulk. And uh, I'll try to keep this simple because I don't really, like, you know, I don't want to replace one annoyingly complicated um, meal with another. We'll use convalescence. Convalescence is easy to obtain, and uh, it's generally just a good um, additive. We'll do, we'll do bear jerky. I usually have, well, we can do, you know what, we'll do... 
crab jerky because that crab jerky is like really easy to obtain okay uh this isn't what we want okay well you yeah, know i tried and uh, you know i'm making I'm, I'm still making recipes recipes are, are a thing that we are constantly trying to make so what is this uh crystal long swords okay so this is the crystal long swords i was kind of uh, surveying some of the footage and i noticed that at one point you know i passed by uh one of the general store plants that had two long swords which is just brutal you know like i, I can imagine watching myself or sorry watching me um and uh <laughs> you know if there was any chance i was gonna do the betel quest you know it, it must be annoying to watch me just kind of like pass that up. Okay, um, so I don't know where that other Betel is. I, I definitely saw it was near here. Six, oh, fitted with cleats, sleep beer gland. Oh, I guess we still have that. So I should um, try and hand that in. Near Bethesda Sousa. Last visited on the Ides of Summit Ut. On the Ides of Simon Ut. Where, okay. Hmm. Wish it would tell me how many strata deep it was. So I don't I don't know what the deal is here. I don't know where they are, where this betel is. I thought I had this figured out, but I guess not. I did, um, I have a, I had a look at Maghammer. I, I kind of want to make one, make a mag, mag hammer just to see what it is, what it does. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through this one more time and then I'm going to check the map to see if maybe it's on a different tile. It might be near Bethesda Sousa. It might be that it's on a different tile uh, from Bethesda Sousa. Not seeing it. There is a lot of Betels in, in Bethesda Sousa, is, wasn't there? It might be it's in a ruin called um, Simon Ut. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anything here. Fitted with cleats, will give me a blazing cannon, which is nice. Okay, all right. Not not really finding it here. Okay, so let's. Let's have a look on the overview map. This is taking longer than I intended. I didn't intend. I was like, oh, we'll just hand in a quick battle quest. So, sated, bit of the cleats, serene visage, three spring loaded items, and promising great renown. I don't understand. Where are they? <laughs> where Where is this uh, battle? How did I find this? Did I explore? No, I didn't explore that tile. Well, what we can do is we can check the uh, other tiles, you know? No, not this one. I wonder if I accidentally checked one of the other tiles on one of the other, um, like I was underground and then I moved to a different tile by accident. Why is there just like a straight up um, basilisk on that screen? Weird. Okay, well, we'll do this, but we're going to do it later because I don't want to eat up too much time with this. Um, I am going to try. I'm going to make a mag hammer. This is going to be a kind of an expensive make, but it's 11 pen, which isn't terrible. Can't tinker with. So where, where are these hostiles you speak of? Okay. I didn't mean to collect that. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with that later. Let's uh, make this mag hammer. Um, if, if energy is a problem with the mag hammer, it's basically not a problem. Um, let's check this out. So it's an 11 pen 62, which isn't bad. Um, it counts as a cudgel. I don't know if this counts as a two-handed weapon. Let's, um, have a quick look here. Our flawless crystal mace is actually 12 pen at, uh, you know, ca 12 strength cap basically so um we're at the level where we can max out an 11 pin weapon so actually a mag hammer is kind of a great get for us um 
So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna modify it. I'm actually I'm gonna see first of all, is it a, is it a two-handed weapon? We'll we'll throw an antimatter cell in there as I like to do, you know, and uh, then we'll equip it in our upper, you know, our, our primary hand. Okay, so it is a two-handed weapon. That kind of sucks. That's okay though. Um, the flawless crystal mace is 3d4. 3d4 versus 6d2. Um, interesting. 3d4, the max it can do, max damage it can do is 12 damage. But the minimum damage it can do is 3 damage, right? Mag hammer, 6d2. Uh, it also does max 12 damage, but it does minimum 6 damage every single time it hits which is much, much better than the Flawless Crystal Mace. This is also counts for criticals, by the way. So if I critical, the minimum amount of damage I'm going to do is six damage. And then the max is like multiple pens, I'm gonna be doing six times two, six times three pen damage. So Maghammer, actually really de decent. That's a, that's a really good get. Can we mod it? We can... Uh, we can shield it, which is actually not a bad idea. We can definitely uh, put jacks on it, but I, I, I've come to, um, I don't know, be a little suspicious of jacked. I'll do it, but I just don't know if it works. Um, and sure, let's uh, electromagnetically shield it. Reason being, it, uh, you know, if an EMP on the very off chance uh, comes up. I really don't want to be without my main weapon. And this is supposed to do something when it's charged. I'm not sure what. Uh, on the bottom handle, there's a slot for battery to juice the magnets. Hmm. I'm not sure what this, what this does when charged. But we'll find out. There's a, something else I wanted to make as well. I wanted to make another handrail. So we're finally going to be dual wielding handrails, which is great. Um, handrail has been pretty good. It's been working out really well for me. So we're definitely going to want to mod it. We are using this gun of the pistachio electrician. I don't know if that's any good at all. Let's un uh, replace the cell and remove it. And um, then let's check out. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna mod this. First of all, let's install a antimatter cell, and then let's go ahead and mod it with. Uh, oh, we don't have any microcontrollers. Oops. We're gonna want to put jacked on it, and then we are gonna want to put scoped on it. But I don't have any uh, my AI microcontrollers. I'm pretty sure I have something that I could disassemble for AI microcontrollers, though. Could be, um, well, I guess, no, antimatter cells are only going to give us metacrystals, so that's not what I need. Um, and we have a pistol here with fresh water in it for some reason. Is this a water pistol? I don't know why my quick buttons are not working. Oh, it's because I have caps lock on, that's why. Liquid cooled chain pistol. Liquid cooled is interesting, but I don't think I'm going to ever use this. So I'm going to go ahead and treat it as scrap and disassemble it. Okay, so um, we're gonna recoil, and we're gonna go to, where are we going? We're going to, was it Dugapad? I think this is the, the historic site. What is this brass al alarcock? I don't know, I don't recognize that, to be honest. We still have an Ezra recoiler, I don't know how and when that happened. Um, all right, let's, let's check out Dugapack. I'm pretty sure this might be the historic site. Because we, I, I want to continue this horrible, horrible site. It really is miserable. Oh, look, there's our lithofix already. Um, and they're trying to, to, you know, trying to turn me into a statue. Can we proselytize this lad? Yes. That means we, there's a croc in Bethesda Susa who is no longer our friend. Ask me if I care. Okay, there's another lithofix trying, trying to do me the the stoning gaze dirty. Okay, 
with with my friend and compatriot. The other Lithofix, we will destroy them. Oh god, more clockwork beetle things. I almost hate the clockwork beetle things more than the crocs that dismember me. That's not true. That's a lie. I lied to you just now. But here's the, hear me out. I hate it. I, I really hate these things. I like, I don't want to have to juggle, um, you know, pickaxes into my, into my primary hand to, to break them properly. Um, I don't really want to have to sit here and, and break them, you know, like manually attack them a, a bazillion times. It's not really safe. It's, uh, it, it, make, it shows my ignorance as a Caves of Cud player, and I just don't appreciate that uh, for the, from the Clockwork Beetle um, blocks, whatever they're called, the, the hives, basically constructors. Look at all these books. Oh my god, over the weight limit already? Uh, what am I carrying a lot of? We have a lot of armor. Oh, am I carrying Flawless Crystal Shard Mail still? That's a problem. Um, grenades. We could disassemble all of these flashbangs. That uh, is definitely going to save us some some room. Oh my God! Stop it with the clockwork beetle thing. Ticking vents. That's what they're called. I love the sound effect. <laughs> you know what it sounds like? It sounds like rain hitting a plastic roof or an umbrella, even. Just like a, just an umbrella, yo! It's the it's the my neighbor Totoro scene, except it's uh, you know, we'll say we'll we'll, we'll, just, we'll say a, a member of the the Bela of Bela, and who else? Me and who? Is it um, member of Bela? Who who would be the the big lad? I feel like the big lad, the thing that looks most like Totoro would be. Uh, one of those chrome idols that roam the jungle and are, are robotic and, and members of that uh, jungle tribe. We could say that. I, I like that. That's that's pretty good headcanon. Oh, heck yeah. Another flawless crystal mace. I, f I f almost feel like it's worth trading off of the, uh, the mag hammer at this point. Because, dang. Um, I unfortunately cannot... Like, I can't unequip the Radiant Shank. I don't think it's worth it. This thing gives us plus three ego. Um, eventually, it will become redundant, and, you know, we can unequip it at a certain point. But for now, I kind of like having it. Um, if I got another Flawless Crystal Mace, that'd be kind of nice. We can only put Sturdy on this. Okay, so uh, I definitely am going to, you know, carry this Mace. I don't know why these... Um, bookcases i guess these are bookcases that i like looked inside and told the game i don't want to pick these up we're, we're over our limit again uh, um 25 meds that's herb berries can't really drop those can't really drop the long swords we are at three crystal long swords i think i only need one more of those and then i'm finally good and i'm finally free from that god awful quest treat these as scrap why are we not treating chain pistols as scrap uh the kind of the pistachio electrician 64 i mean is good i just don't know what that is tools why are there's we have so many tools why oh the spiral borer is actually really heavy dang okay um, we're gonna have to deal with that at some point. I think what I'd like to do is as soon as I've cleared out this floor Remember we have a, a recoiler uh, Set to this to the, this specific floor um, I'll go to Ezra and I'll learn how to make the spiral bore unless I already do do I already know how to make the spiral bore? I do so let's go ahead and just disassemble that We can always make it again but that's 40 pounds. I don't know how, like, how how did those three bits turn into 40 pounds? I don't know. But, oh, dang. So, what? Oh, I see. Uh, our statues, our own statues are blocking our way back. Still carrying these. 
still still have to loot these these bookcases, but we have to destroy a statue of herself. Like I say, it's probably easier just to destroy this um, star orchid marble wall than it is to destroy our own statue. Not sure. I don't question it. Probably, probably I'm wrong actually, but uh, I, this is what we're gonna do anyway. I'm 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 committed now. Ugh. I could be wrong, actually. <laughs> you know what? I, I I really just need to do this properly. Let's equip the pickaxe. Throw it in our primary. Uh, of course, I did not equip it in my primary. That's real good. Tools. I know that there's a mod that lets you set um, like presets of items. I think actually Narf made it. Look at that. That was like two <laughs> clicks. I really am uh, my own worst enemy sometimes. Uh, I, I do know that there's a good mod for that and I might actually get that just so that I don't have to juggle pickaxes because it really is just the worst. Um, but I, I don't know, I don't really want to. I don't know, it's another thing I have to figure out. Lithofex is no match. Are you running away from me? Don't be running away from me. Okay, we got more books, more books, more books, more books, more books, more books, more books. I know there's a crocodile over there still. More books, more books, more books, more books. So many books. Such an absurd amount of books. We're going to Temporal Fugue. I really don't want to have to deal with this crocodile. Okay, more books still. I, I kind of want to collect this oil. Actually, we have tons of oil. We don't need any more oil. There is the staircase, finally. And uh, another croc, uh, or clockwork beetle. Ticking vent. Hate it. That's our friend, right? They're facing right, so I believe that is our friend Lithofix. Someone was telling me, um, on, when I'm, like, commenting on my video of stone, what is it called? Stone something? Stone, oh god, I'm, I forgot the name of it. Stone something. I, I can't, I can't continue until I f figure out what the name of this game is. Stone shard. Stone shard. That, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it's, um, it can be immersion breaking for some people when a game doesn't really have any animations. Um, and I can kind of understand that for sure, but I, I think I more appreciate a game that makes use of limited animations or makes a functional use of limited to, to, to static animations than a game that has like fully rendered animations because to me, I just, I understand how much extra time it takes to develop like all of those animations and how much not game uh, that is, basically. Like, you know, I, I've talked about this various on, on various occasions, but the only reason that Caves of Cud works is because of how limited it is um, from a artistic standpoint. Now, I say limited, I'm not saying bad, but, you know, there's a very, like, definite choice here. There's a lot of choices being made when it comes to the look and feel of Cud, and it is uh, a deliberate style choice to to work within these restrictions, um, and it you know because we're working within those restrictions, it means that we can uh, we're, we're free to you know to we're we're free to to spread our wings as it were when it comes to um, having like crazy levels and layers of depth. In, in this game, you know? It, it wouldn't happen. We wouldn't be able to, like, you know, have... Uh, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to break, you know, artifacts down into bits uh, and then remake, you know, new things. We wouldn't be able to have, like, 16 different kinds of cybernetics, some of which are, like, game-changing on a, on a fundamental level. Uh, we wouldn't ha be able to have cool things like uh, mechanical uh, wings... You know, like, 
all of those things imagine like all of those things needing to be animated in any form or fashion it just wouldn't work it, it just like you, you know you can't do it i just realized that those tonics don't actually take up any room um wondering what is taking oh this nano neuro animator is actually really heavy you know we are done with that achievement let's um let's pull out the the cell and then i'm gonna disassemble it we're done with the nano neuro animator and that means we can put scoped on our other handrail um I, I guess at this point it's actually easier just to like go to the actual item and then go mod scoped um yeah like imagine if um you know the only way we could have mods on all of the uh, all of the weapons is uh is if the uh, you know the the tile had to change it had to have some kind of stylistic difference to differentiate itself so you could tell oh this is a this is a gun with scoped on it. it has this kind of like just consider for a moment like fallout 4 someone's gonna fall out for me in in the comments well the fallout 4 has all the yeah i know but like think about all of the time and investment that went into like modeling uh, thousands of different weapons or thousands of different modular compartments and stuff that that get attached to weapons and like how much had to be compromised for that because compromises have to be made whether you like it or not um i'm thinking we are gonna take a step down oh god this is already awful all right let's, i think we're okay yeah we, we're actually okay we're very close to leveling up which is exciting um, I'm just going to wait for our temporal fugue to come back so I don't have to deal with more crocodiles. We'll just perma-stun them forever. And we leveled up from that. Nice. Uh, oh, our genome is in an excited state. Let's, um, I think I kind of want to put that in multiple arms. Or if not, mus double muscled would actually be a huge improvement. Let's do m double muscled. And we're inspired to cook a mouth-watering meal. Uh, that's a lithofax beam making its way over here. You know what? Oh, we could hand handrail. Let's just let our lithofax kind of do some work for us. They might die, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. Lithofax actually is pretty, pretty tanky. Also, I found a. I, I did look into it, but our ego is actually what uh, lets us kind of dominate the wills of. Uh, other uh, of other creatures so i think that our ego is actually giving us a, be a huge benefit to um proselytization by the way we have a bunch of extra mutation points can we spend some of these nope oh we can a little bit on double muscle and that actually did help i saw my strength um jump up there i should actually throw a bunch of points into quickness because uh, heightened quickness is like absolutely beast when it's leveled up um and that's going to give us quite a lot of quickness we're at 135 now that means I, i'm pretty sure that means like every third turn we get an extra turn in a way it doesn't quite work that way but it sort of works that way we do have double handrails uh this is normality gas which is actually not great for us it just means we can't really temporal fugue oof um Let's go ahead and slam them and then shoot them, double, double handrail them to death. Um, I think the only thing that can really uh, make a huge difference. Okay, let's go ahead and proselytize this croco because uh, that's going to help me a great deal. The only upgrade I could foresee from uh, the handrails is probably Eigen pistols. Eigens are just top notch. No, no notes on Eigens. Um, I don't really like the situation at all. Wounded. Okay, let's flurry that fellow, and then let's hit these guys. I can't conk, unfortunately. I think they are perma stunned. Okay, Litho is trying to statue us. I'm hoping. Oh, he moved out of. The, I was kind of hoping he would take care of my 
Croco friend. Nice thing about Lithos is they can't dismember me. That's that's honestly my main concern. Okay, let's um, let's wait for a bit. Sultan, wait, why am I not resting? My my rest button doesn't seem to be working anymore, and I'm not sure why. I I noticed it stopped. It, it wasn't working in. Uh, in the when I was doing the moon stair update. Okay, so that is a nasty creature there. That's an ego sap. A hundred percent not something we want to encounter. Um, you know you could probably tell exactly what that does. We can conk this fellow. I'm hoping that while I'm taking care of this guy, uh Croco friend is is killing the ego sap. Yes he did. Good. I'm just gonna let our croco friend um, fight other the other crocs. They died. That's fine. Um, we can see the nice thing about eigen pistols is that the shots would go through them through enemies. So like in situations like this, could be really nice. Let's go ahead and conk them. Nice thing about perma stunning an enemy is they're gonna block the other one from attacking me. And um, when we kill that one, we're gonna prosthetize this other one. And you can see our, our High Ego is making proselytization work a lot better. Oh, there's a nasty beam. Oh, and an Ego. Ego sap. Okay. Don't really want to deal with um, clockwork beetles right now. Fortunately, my Croco friend is doing a really good thing for me right now and taking on the litho while I take on that uh, Croco. There's another Croco making its way downtown, so I'm going to help my my friend here take on that uh, Lithofex. Okay, we're doing pretty well. I, I now want to take a moment and get rid of this thing, and I'm actually I'm going to do it right. And uh, we're, we're going to unequip this and then equip the pickaxe so that I can get rid of it in like two hits of course it's not working now is it I guess the pickaxe only really works against walls wow wow that's really not working okay well if it, it, it finally we finally finished okay so but the jacked mag hammer. We are going to end the episode pretty soon. I really do want to finish this historic site. Um, like, I know that's it's, 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 it's a big, tall ask. Elder Flamebeard. Flamebeard would be good just for um, cooking parts. I'm another freaking ticking vent. All right. Our, our friend died. Hey, you know what would be kind of nice is a Flamebeard friend. They'll probably die instantly, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna have Temporal Fugue. And conk this friend. Yeah, our Flamebeard died. Hopefully they died in a convenient place so that I can uh, reap their organs for good cooking recipes. I'm pretty sure flame beard glands just let you do flaming rays. Oh. Conk is really working well for me. Conk has a pretty low um, cooldown. Okay, we want to not get petrified. Wow, they really they they really galaxy brained that cuz the lithofix shot their beam, shot their shot and then the croco like came out. Let's do a discharge. Our discharge is actually pretty good. All right, there's the there's the beam. Got to make room for the beam. Hey, you know what would be good? Well, okay, I was gonna say another uh, litho friend, but uh, a croco friend is just as good. Litho does some really nice damage. Remain stunned. Croco, you are doing the Lord's work by just blocking that entryway. I actually really appreciate that. 
little little bodyguard doing doing really good for us and of course for some reason my rest is not working so let's do wait 100 300 turns that should be good enough yep that worked uh ooh first of all item mod fl flaming that's that's nothing to sniff at and a flawless crystal longsword wait a minute do we need flawless crystal or just crystal Let me see. Six crystal long swords. I don't think that that counts because technically flawless crystal is a different classification. It's a different type of weapon. So I'm pretty sure that that doesn't count, and that's a big bummer. <laughs> uh, finding a flawless crystal long sword instead of the one we need to finish that Beetle quest. Just dang. Damaged, broken. I'm pretty sure when it's broken, it doesn't make anymore, so I don't have to keep hitting it. Okay, so we're done on this floor. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm good to keep. I guess um, I did level up, double muscled quite a bit, so that meant that uh, we got a lot more carrying capacity. I'm a little bit worried about this screen. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're, we're out of there. <laughs> Well, the nice thing about hitting a litho through the stairs is there's no way they can petrify you. They are doing a pretty good job of smacking me, though. Okay, conk them. I'm, I'm, I don't really want to say it for, for superstitious reasons. Oh, God. Okay, um, slam them. Okay. <laughs> Amazing, uh, that bought us some time. That interrupted their, their, their stoning gaze and, and, and now I don't have to worry about getting petrified. Cause like, you know, this sucks. I really, really don't want to get stoned because, um, We've actually accomplished quite a lot right now, and I, and I don't want to spoil it by dying. Excuse me. Are we are we not friends? Oh, there's a dromad. Oh, that could be big, actually. Uh, unless they're enemies. Okay, we're, they're not enemies to us. This is very good news. Because I really, really don't want to have to fight saltbacks. Fighting saltbacks sucks. Oh my god, look at all of them. Look at all the crocs. Oh, the dromad is gonna die. Oh, <sighs> uh, no, no, we're enemies to the dromads. Why did that have to happen? Oh, the saltbacks are gonna absolutely tear me a new one. Okay, um, I'm gonna get out of here. I, I really don't want to end up killing the Dromad. Um, we're hungry and we're also inspired. So let's cook a meal and maybe actually I'll call it there because I, I don't want to end up with another hour long episode. Let's uh, cook with some ingredients. What do we want? You know what? Concentrated tart beard gland paste sounds good. Dried Vanta petals. I, I don't know what that does, so we're going to do that. And cycle gland paste. Get some extra secrets, maybe. Sure. We're just going to make a, a crazy recipe here. You can use corrosive breath at level 10. If you already have corrosive breath, it's enhanced by 10 levels. Plus 4 DV. Reveals a secret to you. Nice. I found out about a uh, location of Black Veil Goat Folk Haunt. Settlement. That sounds kind of interesting. Well, maybe we'll follow up on that in a future episode. If you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.